Hi guys, thank you for joining me. I want to give you a little bit of information about Jupiter in this video because Jupiter is going to change signs later on in the year. Now, Jupiter has been in Virgo since August 2015 and it's going to move into Libra on the 9th of September 2016 this year and it's going to stay in Libra until the 10th of October 2017. It takes Jupiter about a year to move through each sign of the zodiac so it takes it 12 years to go through all of the signs. Okay, So Jupiter is important because it really represents all of the positive things in life. It's about good luck, good fortune, abundance, growth, positivity, things progressing naturally and easily. In modern astrology, Jupiter rules Sagittarius, which is associated with progress and knowledge, higher realms of knowledge, and progressing naturally and easily. In Ancient astrology and traditional astrology, you, uh, Jupiter used to rule Pisces before the discovery of Neptune. And Pisces has to do with spirituality and truth and understanding. So Jupiter also embodies all of that, you know, broadening your horizons in terms of learning, understanding the facts of the, the fundamental practical truths, but also the philosophical truths, why we're here, spiritual meaning, spiritual purpose, all of those good things that we want to understand as human beings are associated with this planet. So that's Jupiter. It moving into Libra. Libra is the sign associated with harmony, balance, love, beauty, connection with other people. If you look at the actual glyph of Libra, it looks a little bit like a bridge. So it's about the self in connection to other people. The planet that rules Libra is Venus. Venus is the planet of love and beauty. And that has to do with everything, again, that is positive in the world. Falling in love, relationships, having, you know, romantic moments, or going on a picnic, or, you know, all of those really romantic or archetypal romantic experiences that we have and that we associate, that's to do with Venus. It also rules the arts, anything creative, music, um, and it rules physical appearance, so the way you look. Jupiter moving into Libra is going to have a positive impact on people's appearance. It's also a good time to undertake things like cosmetic procedures because anything that you do that has to do with the way things look, the way things are beautiful, is going to access that good luck of Jupiter and will naturally and easily make them better. So also, just to give you an idea of what, what Libra means, um, Libra is associated with professions that um, pursue balance and harmony and that build bridges between people. So it's counselors, it's wedding related businesses, it's, it's grief counselors, it's um, diplomats, ambassadors, it's lawyers, people who are after justice and truth and balance. Um, and it's also to do with all professions that have to do with um, beauty and creativity. So it's artists, sculptors, florists, jewelers, uh, fashion designers, color consultants, all of these people who are creative, who, who create beauty in the world. So this is going to be a really lovely, wonderful time when Jupiter goes into Libra because we're going to see a lot of people really getting in touch with their own creativity, with their own abundance of what is beautiful, what they want to create, and the world is going to look much more colorful and much more good looking and much more positive and light. So the other thing about Libra is that it's an air sign. Air has to do with thoughts and ideas and inspiration. So, you know, all of this creative stuff has to come from somewhere. It's ideas and it's um, the muses whispering in people's ears and saying, why don't you weave this beautiful rug? And it's those kind of inspirational moments and notions coming together to create a lot of beautiful things in the world and lots of things coming together through people, through creative output, things looking a lot rosier than they have before. Because the thing about Virgo, when Jupiter was in Virgo, that was great because the big focus was about what is wrong, what doesn't work, let's criticize that, let's change it, let's get rid of it, and let's take practical action to do new things. Okay, so that's quite a harsh energy. It's like, I don't like this, I'm gonna change it, I'm gonna reject it, and I'm gonna do something else. And that 
we have all noticed it was a productive year for a lot of people, but it was also quite a harsh year and it was quite it was quite difficult and kind of abrupt. This is unacceptable. No, goodbye, we're changing this. Whereas Libra is much more forgiving, it's much more accepting, and it's much more about bringing people together. So even if there are flaws in certain things and other people, you're not going to be so focused on criticizing it and saying that is unacceptable. No, no, no. It's much more about accepting the things that you can't change or not needing to criticize everything to death and just accepting it. So along with that inspiration, there's going to be a much more friendly vibe going on between people and there's going to be, well hopefully, fingers crossed, going to be a lot more acceptance between people and how they interact with each other, which is something that, I mean, I don't even want to go there, but with the world we all need more love and acceptance. So we've got these two things then, we've got Jupiter, this good luck planet, and we've got Libra, this really positive sign of the zodiac, which is about bridges and people coming together. When these two come together, from the 9th of September to the 10th of October, it means that all of this good luck energy melds and meshes with uh, the sphere of the public, the sphere of the creative and people. So Libra realizes and Libra really believes that one is the loneliest number and that the best thing or the best state of being is two a team, being a part of a community. So with this planet changing signs, it's about aligning yourself with that energy so you can harvest the good luck, you can harvest the good energy of Jupiter. So the way to do that is to be in a team, to work with other people. If for the last year you've been doing everything solo and you've been really critical, then change your own personal behavior if you want to harvest this good luck, this good fortune of Jupiter. Work with other people, Align yourself with the energy of being non-judgmental, of being accepting, of being loving, of being giving, of being fun, of being part of a team and being sociable. And when you align yourself with all of that, that's when you uh, maximize the way the year is going to be for you and the way you um, notice that the universe supports you in your actions. So what we can all expect to see during this period is more love, more beauty, more harmony, more cooperation between people, which is something that we can all do with and embrace and welcome and that's going to be really positive. So the interesting thing uh, for you to realize is one, if your natal Jupiter is in um, Libra, then you're going to experience what's called a Jupiter return. And as I said earlier, it takes Jupiter 12 years to go through each sign of the zodiac. So if your natal Jupiter is in Libra, you're going to have an especially lucky year. So if you want to look at that where your Jupiter is in your birth chart, then get in touch with me and we can look at that. And also the other thing that's going to be pertinent for you specifically is what sector of your chart this transiting Libra Jupiter is, what space it's occupying. Okay, so is this uh, Libra Jupiter in your second house of money or is it in your fifth house of romance or your ninth house of education, travel and growth or is it in your tenth house of career? Because the location or the, the sector of your chart that it's doing all of this in is going to be an area that is particularly affected. So let's say Jupiter in Libra is in your second house of money. You're going to have a year where you, where if you align yourself with the energy of Libra, so you work with teams, you make phone calls, you take your business global, you expand and widen the scope of your business and the way you deal with other people, you can expect to have a lot of good luck and a lot of positivity come into your financial life and that you can really enjoy a lot more prosperity and abundance and really thrive financially for this time period. Let's say Jupiter in Libra is in your um, ninth house of travel. Let's say that. Then if you connect with the people you meet on your travels that you might discover some sort of opportunity 
or that you make lifelong friends or that you make really meaningful connections. So it really depends on where this is happening in your chart. So if you would like to find that out, you can look at some of the, um, the you can just Google free astrology charts and you can look it up yourself. Uh, sites like Astro Deans and Astro Theme are very good at that and you can look at it yourself. If you want me to look at it, then please get in touch with me via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab and you can order your reading with me there. Um, please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you found this helpful, then if you do subscribe, I make new videos all the time on astrology, on tarot. I do daily tarot readings, monthly astrology forecasts for each sign of the zodiac. One-offs like this and I also do weekly horoscope. Then please subscribe to see all of those kinds of videos. And I also do live readings on Facebook where I pull tarot cards. You can ask me specific questions and I pull a card to answer that question. That's on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Gregory Scott 444. Check that out if you're interested. I hope this has been useful and I'll speak to you soon.